नमस्कार आई एम मंजूष रंगू वेलकम यू टू द प्रोग्राम ऑफ लाइब्रेरी एंड इंफॉर्मेशन साइंस एट सीनियर सेकेंडरी लेवल टूडे वी शेल डिस्कस लाइब्रेरी एंड इंफॉर्मेशन सेंटर्स एंड ऑल्सो रोल ऑफ लाइब्रेरीज एंड इंफॉर्मेशन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन द सोसाइटी वी शेल ऑल्सो स्टडी द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ लाइब्रेरीज इन एजुकेशन कल्चर एंड क्रिएशन एज यू नो दैट libraries and information centers have to play a new role in the modern information society this is because of increasing use of web based information sources and electronic services libraries are now being used and managed in a more dramatic way because of flexible communication systems and efficient work organizations their services are also user centric the library as a service organization plays a very major role in the development of a modern society the chief aim of any library is to make available right information at right time to the right user in a right format and in right quantities for this library organizes and facilitates the use of information and knowledge for the development of an individual as well as the society due to this fast development in the modern technologies the role of library has changed from document management to knowledge management if we look at the definition of library what basically library means the definition of library we can say is the word library which is derived from the latin word libraria which means a book place it originated from the term liber which means a book if we look at the definition according to oxford companion to the english language it states that library is a collection of books periodicals and other materials primarily written and printed and other materials which are written printed and according to herald's librarians glossary and reference book which who defines library as number 1 the collection of books and other literary material kept for reading study and consultations another way is a place a building room or many rooms set apart for keeping and using the collection of books number 3 you can say is the number of books issued by one publisher under a comprehensive title as the leo classical library and usually having some general characteristics such as subject binding and typography number 4 is the collection of films photographs and non book materials plastic metal tapes discs and programs in the view of abu definitions whatever i have told you till now these definitions library can be defined as a place in which all these materials such as books periodicals newspapers pamphlets prints tapes artifacts are kept for reading for reference and for lending a collection of such material especially when systematically arranged a room in a private home for such a collection an institution or a an foundation maintained such an collection library thus is a social organization and a necessary unit of the society it is organized for transmitting knowledge and experience of society to individuals this is done through books and other materials like the maps charts phono records microfilms and many other things like we have our sr ranganathan father of the library science who is an indian father of library science who indicates the library as science in india describes the library as a public institution or establishment charged with the care of collection of books and the duty of making them accessible to those who require them for use therefore it could be derived from the above definitions that library is an organization of records of human thoughts these records are in a physical form that is human thoughts embodied in the form of useful manuscripts books periodicals 
audio visual records, microfilms, graphs, charts, etc. These are arranged, stored and preserved in a physical functional structure for effective utilization by the potential users in future. Now we can look at the purpose and the function of the library. What are the purposes why we establish libraries and what are their functions? Like purpose of establishing a library is to serve the society through the records of human thoughts, ideas, expressions by making them available to all. This is why we establish a library. The functions of a library can be it collects, provides books as well as other non-book material to the help of people to become aware of the thinking of others. It fosters and promotes the spread of knowledge, education and culture. It provides facility for formal and non-formal lifelong education in the community. It preserves the literary and cultural heritage of humanity for posterity as vehicle of culture and material for research. It provides reliable information for all kinds of users irrespective of age, caste, creed, color, religion. It collects resources in order to promote an enlightened citizenship and to enrich personal life. It facilitates advancement of culture in the community. Functions of the library can broadly be grouped into four areas. Those four areas are like number one, education. Libraries provide means for self-development of the individual and groups at various stages of education. This closes the gap between the individual and recorded in knowledge. As an educational center, the libraries support and promote all types of education, that is non-formal, formal, adult and lifelong education. This is achieved by stocking of books and other reading materials for the community. Information dissemination is the another point. Libraries help to provide accurate and current information to individuals and groups, particularly on the topics of their interest. The scope of information services is extended to include information on socio-economic needs of the society. Library has to serve as an information center or referral center for specialized sources of information. The employment opportunities, public utility services, social awareness programs undertaken by various departments are considered to be an essential area of information. Information about these areas is collected and stored by libraries for dissemination to journal public. Libraries help in the promotion of culture. Libraries act as one of the principal centers of cultural life and promote participation, enjoyment and appreciation of various arts. Promotion of culture has two aspects. Firstly, reading and thinking. That widens the mental horizons and develops creative capabilities of the individuals. Secondly, the library has to contribute to the cultural enrichment of the society by organizing extension activities like lectures, seminars, symposia, book exhibitions, cultural gatherings. Number four will be the recreation, where libraries help us in the recreation. Libraries play an important and active role in encouraging the positive use of leisure time by providing material for change and relaxation. Provision of scope for healthy or positive use of leisure time is an important function of the library. Books or fictions or magazines, newspapers or many other materials which facilitate recreational reading, audiovisual materials such as films, television, radio, audio video cassettes, they all increase the utility of a public library. Various forms of performing arts may also be organized by the library to make them real community centers. Let us discuss the role of libraries in society and education. Libraries play an important role in socio-economic, cultural and educational development of a society. Their service is considered as a social necessity for the study development of a person as a social being. 
Library as a social institution serves several purposes. It helps the lifelong self-education of one and all. It furnishes up-to-date facts and information on all subjects to everyone. It can disseminate all shared recorded views and thoughts in an unbiased and balanced way to everyone. It can provide opportunities for positive use of leisure time for everyone. Library preserves the literary and cultural heritage of humanity for research. It works for continued social well-being of society as an agency in charge of all social recorded thoughts. Library raises cultural levels of society. Libraries enhance the level of intelligence and status of the common man in the society to a great extent. They also increase the quantum of common sense of the average man in the community. The library tends to increase the reading habits and change their cultural levels. It is the libraries which introduce ourselves not only to our culture but also to other cultures also. Like I am from North India, if I want to know about the culture of South India, where from I can get all this information, I can go to library and read about the culture of South India, which will help me to stay there. An effective educational system largely depends on abundant reading material to make the people civilized and cultured. Libraries cater to all possible needs of the community, facilitates users to undertake research in every walk of life, provides recreation and information to all classes of population. Library works as an instrument for creating refined citizens. A civilized society is expected to have a literate and educated community fully aware of the values, importance and use of libraries. This is so because wherever there is civilize, civilization, there must be books and wherever there are books, there are libraries. Thus the library is a driving force capable of building a better society by its nature, variety, quality and extension of service. It is a support for all types of educational development of an individual. It enables every reader to access a wide range of reading material in order to broaden one's outlook, knowledge and ideas. The success of any democracy depends upon the educated and enlightened citizens, irrespective of their social status. An informed and refined citizen able to judge what is right and what's wrong. It opens the windows of the mind and enables the readers to solve the cultural problems in a reasonable manner. Library promotes the desire of books. Being a social institution, library not only satisfies the readers by providing books, but also promotes the desire for books. By promoting the reading habits of the people, library makes them literary minded and enables them to love books. Demand for required books is also fulfilled by the librarians who make them available to the users. Therefore, the libraries play a vital role in social life of the community. The growth in the size and stock of books is also possible by the increased desire for books by innumerable readers giving due importance to libraries in the culture and social development of the society. Libraries facilitate social interaction. How it facilitates social interaction? Library as an institution allows its users to interact among themselves. This is carried out by organizing talks, lectures, films, discussions on current topics, book exhibitions, and some socially useful activities. A library provides a right form for social get-together within its premises. 
and make it available on equal terms to all groups in the community. Library preserves knowledge. A library maintains archives of old and rare documents, thereby preserving literary heritage for posterity. It stores the literary remains of humanity for research in varied physical formats. The role of library in education. Now we can say the role of libraries in the education is training of the individual is considered an essential means of stimulating economic and social development. To make people civilized, the society requires an effective educational system. Without libraries, we can neither be any good school, college or universities, nor lifelong education of adults be encouraged. It is believed that where formal education ends, informal education begins and a lifelong learning process is sustained with the support of adequate and proper library services. Library is considered as the people's university. Education aims at imparting knowledge and skill to individual human beings for his or her self-development and inculcation of civic and social responsibilities so that one can play a positive role in the development of a society and a nation. Libraries are the foundation of such an endure and can essentially be considered as the university of the people. Library as a center of mass education. Libraries in general and public libraries in particular have a very important role to play in the fields of political awareness, socio-economic growth, cultural and educational enlightenment, which is indispensable to the future development of any country. Library services to all classes of people acts as an intellectual catalyst by providing facilities for acquiring education, information, recreation, aesthetic, appreciation and research irrespective of the age and sex of for the welfare of society as a whole. Library as a center for continuing education. People continue their reading habits with the help of libraries according to their desire, capacity or need. Being a center of the continuing education for millions of people, it develops their vocational, professional, learning skills thus facilitating individual and community problem solving. A library informally provides lifelong continuing education to individuals. Let's now discuss about the information centers. Till now we were talking about the library and how it helps in the society. But the information centers, the progress of civilization and advancement in science and technology resulted in tremendous growth of literature. The explosion of knowledge in multidisciplinary subjects was recorded not only in the books but also in latest research periodicals. Research and technical reports, patents, standards, trade transactions, circulars, reprints, off prints and many other things. The specialists not only needed books but also information contained in periodical articles and other material. Information centers were set to cater their specialized information needs. An information center is defined as an organization that selects, acquires, stores and retrieves information in response to requests. It prepares, abstracts, extracts indexes of information, disseminates information in anticipation and in response to requests. Information centers are attached to highly specialized research and development R&D organizations. An information center provides various services such as referral services, literature search, translation, bibliographies, abstracting, to its users. There are varied forms of information centers like one information analysis center, clearing houses, data centers and data banks also. Information analysis centers can collect literature, 
produced in a particular field, evaluate its utility and communicate to the specialists, conducting research in the directly usable form on request. The center verifies the collected information for its validity, reliability, accuracy before disseminating it. The report of these analysis centers play an important role in strengthening research, pinpointing gaps in knowledge or any shortcomings. Clearing houses, they are set up either on a corporative basis or by a national or international agency. They provide a single point of access to information originating from different sources, countries and languages. They compile bibliographies of particular disciplines and circulate them to the organization interested in them. Copy of the available document, if requested, they can provide. What are the data centers? Data centers and data banks. They collect, organize, store numerable data pertaining to specific subject, fields to answer specific queries for the future requirements of its users. Data banks are usually concerned with a broader subject field. They extract and process raw data from the collected data and relevant literature. They keep these structured files ready to provide right answers to the user queries. These centers are managed by subject experts as well as library and information professionals who organize information to retrieve, disseminate for conducting research. Staff of these centers varies, but may include all or any type of following members. It may include all or any of the following research officers, librarians, bibliographies, across, or trained information centers. It may include the functions of a special library and extend its activities to include collateral functions such as technical writing, abstracting, selective dissemination of information that is SDI, library research for clients. This is how data centers work. Now how can we differentiate between a library and an information center? A library differs from an information center in many ways. Libraries provide macro documents to the users, whereas information centers provide micro documents. Libraries also differ from the information centers in the type of documents stored, type of levels of users, provision of information rather than the document, rendering services to both internal and external users. Apart from collecting, processing and disseminating information, documentation information centers also involve in analysis and presentation of the information. A major difference thus is that library provides only the documents as a whole but information center provide not only the document but the details of the content of the document. For example, library has a book which contains a particular information whereas in an information center exact information is provided not the entire book. Library and information centers of information age. A society does not remain static but goes on changing. As a library is a social institution, social changes also affect the role of libraries. Present day society has undergone transformations in almost all the sectors. Several factors which are responsible for this transformation, these are political and social stability of the society, expansion of educational facilities and high rate of literacy, national regional, local, socio-cultural traditions, urbanization and globalization of population due to migration, growth in trade and commerce, industry as well business, encouragement from national, local and state governments, high standard of living, influence of leaders and individuals in the different fields, well-established book trade, mass communication, computer and communication technology. These social, political and economic conditions 
have left a great impact on all the aspects of growth of libraries. By radically changing their conventional functions, it not only deals with the books, but collects information in multiple media for its clients. Modern library has undergone changes in handling the basic functions of a library like collection, processing, storage, retrieval, dissemination and utility of the information. New information communication and networking technologies have completely changed the functions of the libraries. Information is collected, processed, stored and disseminated using sophisticated technologies. Users are provided information at their own desks or even in their homes through local networks, LAN and wide data networks, WAN. There is no need to visit a library to access the information. Thus, it saves our time. Let's now summarize what we have discussed till now. Library is responsible for collecting, organizing, storing all kinds of print and non-print material, for providing efficient services to its users. It plays a vital role in promoting socio-economic, culture and educational development of a society. Libraries occupy a prominent place in the society in developing social and educational standards of a common citizen. Libraries as a repository of knowledge are used by all types of users to build up a value system for themselves. Libraries provide the mean to accomplish the advancement of learning as well as the building up of the nation's soul. The use of library by the people make them well-informed citizens of the society and allow them to become knowledgeable and educated in the course of time. An information center is defined as an organization that selects, acquires, retrieves information in response to the requests, prepares abstracts extracts, indexes of the information, disseminates the information in anticipation and as well in response from the readers. Information centers are attached to highly specialized research and development organizations. New information, communication and networking technologies have completely changed the function of the libraries. Information is collected, processed, stored and disseminated using sophisticated technologies. Users are provided information in their own desks or even at their homes through local area networks, LAN, wide area networks, WAN. There is no need to visit a library to access the information. Thus, it saves our time. Hope you have understood the difference between the library and the information centers. Thank you very much.